You probably already know what Greeble is if you're watching this, but in case you don't, it's a detailing added to make an object seem more complex. You see it a lot on sci-fi spaceships and things like that. Also, Syncretic 3D makes awesome tutorials and you should check them out. So I'm in Blender 2.9 with a blank scene right here. Just going to start with a plane. I'm going to zoom in, go over to your modifiers, add a subdivision surface. I'm going to switch to wireframe view for this. Turn off optimal display so you can see all the subdivisions. Change this to simple. I'm going to turn both of these up to six so we get some more geometry to work with. Then I'm going to displace this, add a new texture. Click this to go to your texture properties. I'm just going to change this to Voronoi. You can change this to whatever you want and get pretty cool results, but I like Voronoi for this. It gives a tech kind of look. Change actual distance to Chevy Chev. And I'm going to turn second right here all the way down, changes the shape slightly. And you can also adjust the size if you want bigger or smaller shapes. I'm going to leave mine around 0.5 right here. Go back to your modifiers and change the strength to 0.1 to make it a little flatter. Go back into wireframe and look through the top. And you can see that it's all squares right now. But if we add a decimate and change this to planar, we start getting more complex geometry. And if you like this blocky look, you can leave it this way. If you don't want that, you can change this to all boundaries and it starts making more straight lines like that. Go back into solid view now, collapse all of these, and you can add a wireframe and then check off replace original. So you get both the mesh and the wireframe. Uh, turn off even to get rid of those weird artifacts and change this to relative. And I'm just gonna turn this up to 0.1. And if you wanna be done with it, this can be your greeple right here. But instead, I'm going to duplicate this and hide the first one. I'm going to delete the wireframe on our duplicated one. And I'm going to apply all of these right here. If you don't see this at the top, it's because I'm using an add-on. It's called Modifier Tools, and you can turn it on over here under Preferences. So you can just select that, apply all, go into Edit Mode, select everything, hit F3, and search for Edge Split. And that just makes each face a separate piece like that. Then we can select everything, extrude Z. I'm just going to extrude this upward right here. Over here to keep this clean, I like to add a new collection and throw that plane in there. Go back into edit mode, select everything, P to separate, and separate by loose parts. And now you'll get all of these different objects over here. You can go back into object mode, right click to set origin, and origin to center of mass, volume. And now that'll change the origin point for all of these separate parts right here. And then you can F3 and search randomize for randomize transform. And down in this dialog right here, I just move the Z location up slightly like that, and it will separate all of the parts. When you have these all the way you like them, you can control J to turn them back into one object, and then you can start affecting it with other modifiers again. So if you wanted it to be wireframed, you could do that. It gives a little more detail. Or you could add a smooth to make these parts start separating like this. If you're getting any artifacts from weird topology, you can also try adding a triangulate modifier, and sometimes that helps with the shading. Another option to add detail on top of this is to add an edge split modifier. Turn that all the way down to zero right here, and then you can add a solidify and flip this so this is upward. This is going to separate all of the faces and extrude them with the solidify modifier separately. So you start getting these weird cracks like that. And I think that's a pretty cool effect also. If you turn this up high enough, they will start going through each other because they go in the normal direction and this plane isn't flat anymore. So you have to watch out for that. The cool thing about doing it this way is it's all non-destructive and procedural. So you could come in here and start changing things around if you want. If you want more organic shapes, you can add a smooth modifier. And I like to put that after the decimate before you split all of the edges. And it'll start smoothing out all of those sharp turns and give you this more uh, blobby kind of look. There are so many ways to add detail like this. If you want more tutorials about stuff like this, let me know in the comments. Do you like shorter videos or more detailed explanations? Make sure to subscribe, check out my products on Gumroad, follow me on Instagram, and leave other video suggestions in the comments below. Links for everything are in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.